Y'all see that grass? Y'all see that grass? <laughs> she be taking care of her grass. Green friend. That's that, that's that good water. That rain water. All right, let me show y'all what's going on right now. And then we're going to get into what I'm about to do today. This is going to be a quick video update with what's going on. I actually did a prep yesterday for my fridge. And maybe I'll add that. It's a vegan prep. I don't know if y'all interested or not. I'm just been eating raw foods. But an update. I got a lot of um, back and forth on the soil I use, right? In this 8x2 raised bed. Shout out to Angela again for hooking your girl up. So the one bag... A lot of this is like sticks, hay, cedar mulch, and then I forget the name of the soil. It's the pink bag, the organic bag. I can't think of the name right now. If I can think of it, I'll put a picture here. Then I bought two bags from Costco. Actually, I bought more than two bags. I think it was three bags of that miracle Grow organic something something. And people was like, don't buy that because of the company, what they represent what they put in their soil nothing will grow yada 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 and i kind of got nervous i was like oh my goodness i've never bought soil from costco before so what i end up mixing it with the other organic soil if you remember i added my own nutrients like um some organic fertilizer some worm casting and Alaska fish fertilizer right then we block we drop these seedlings in and then we drop, is it seedlings? Yeah, the small starts, I'm sorry. And then we drop some seeds. And it was like, your, all your stuff gonna die in a, in a day or two. And no ma'am, it has not. Every, actually, this looks really good, this uh, eggplant. That looks good, that pepper. These were transplanted that from seed that I moved over here. These passion fruit-like things. I topped everything with hay. Good luck, the moisture in. It's been raining um, since yesterday, but you know, whatever. But so far, fingers crossed now i didn't buy the same soil for the other bed i'll show you in a minute but yeah this is what's going on so everything hasn't died they said the corn wouldn't sprout there you go and so everything's starting to sprout and come through let me show you you see that that's this is a week this is not even a whole week because this is saturday right so maybe it has been a week maybe saturday saturday i don't even remember i think it was saturday sunday and saturday but anyway it's working for me. I won't buy it probably again. I'm not going to get into details. because I don't want no problems with miracle Grow. But I understand after reading and researching more, I'm a little like, what? On the soil and product. But, okay. Everything looks good. Um, update on the peach tree. Miss Peaches is coming through. She like, I, I'm here for you. And I'm like, thank you, girl. I'm, I'm, I just love you. I love her. I give her love every day. I was out here in the rain yesterday like, Miss Peaches, I just need you to hold on. I know the weather's getting cool. I know the wind is blowing hard. I just need you to hold on to these peaches for me. I woke up this morning and she was like, I got you, friend. I got peaches all over me and I'm going to supply all your needs. And I was like, okay, girl. <laughs> So either way, Miss Peaches is here. Um, the lemon balm, lemon balm is coming back. Something eating at this stuff. Girl, look at this. Oh well. I mean, some of these little things gotta eat too. So anyway, mint coming back, lemongrass coming back. I don't even know what's in here. I can't even think. I know this is a habanero, and I think I'm gonna put it out because I think it's gone. I really think it's gone. I might let it dry out and then replant it and see what happens. This is iris. That is a like a random zucchini or squash. We already know that. Oh, y'all. My grass is going to be green. If you know, you know. If you know, then you know. I am obsessed with green grass. It just makes, it irks my soul. It um, brings my spirit down when I come outside and my grass looks like hay. It bothers me, the front and the back. I just be so like, oh my God, this looks so like dead and dreary. But when the grass comes, it is green. I just wanna be outside. All right, we're gonna transplant some of this today and nothing grew in this soil. This is that random cheap bag from, what's the soil called, girl? Mm, H-E-B. And I want to try the cheap soil. So I think what I'm going to do is mix this with some other stuff. Because there's a lot of seeds in here. And then put it in the big red pot. So I mix it with some good soil. 
and see if we can get some to grow because right now something should be in here strawberries popping through this is my jasmine let me show you all these you see this it's about to go down you see this it's about to be so fragrant for over here this year i'm taking the jasmine flowers i'm going to put them into either a um like a vodka or something like that see if i can make my own jasmine like extract or something or well, you know, you, you know, it smells good. You could make a little perfume out of it. Or I might do it with some oil and do like a jasmine oil. It's about to go down. Look at this whole head of kale in the grass. All right, so tomato plants are tomatoing. And broccoli's broccoli. And like I said, this right here, I don't know why it looks like cucumber, but I, they say it's loofah, friend. So we're going to see. And yeah, we have uh, tomatoes coming. It's so crazy because people be like, I don't know why you plant so early because we eat for you and, and we like to eat a lot. That's why I plant early. And I kind of have an idea of when to plant and go from there. Yeah, I kind of got an idea now. So I get excited when I see stuff like this. Here go. Uh, I got a bunch of suckers in a jar in the window. So, yeah. Anyway, look at this. Ooh, I'm gonna do some um, raw tacos today, and I'm gonna use this right here. This is shard. I'm definitely gonna use shard. Look at my peppers. Got a little, got a little sop sop coming on. Look at this. Don't even look good right here. I'm gonna take some of this off. We're gonna clean this up as we go today. Why not? Look at these peppers. Come on, pepper. Yes. Sometimes you just gotta come in the garden, talk to them. I went ahead and let this go to seed because I want my own seed. Uh, this Romanesco broccoli. I really do. We're going to see how that goes. I really wanted to go to the um, the garden place today. Um, the one in Rosenberg, Richmond. I don't know, though. I don't know. I want some flowers. Look at these nasturtiums. Come on, friend. That's some good spicy eating. All right. So, the carrots are popping through. I went ahead and thinned out the carrots some. And I'm going to try to plant carrots every two weeks. Every two weeks, I'm trying to plant carrots somewhere so we have a consistent growth of carrots. Since I've been really enjoying carrots, golden bees, and ginger and pineapple as a juice. So, yeah. And they're just in the midst of garlic. And, of course, here's my parsley. I've been doing a lot of parsley, um, like salad dressings. And they've been really good on salads with, like, some peppers, some garlic, and onion. Oh, my God, that's so good. And, of course, it's another tomato up in here. Look at these tomatoes. Ooh, y'all look good, friend. Look at that. Let me tell you. When it rains, honey, it's after the rain brings in all the growth and sunshine. All right, so I don't know what all this is. That might be carrots, too. Might, they got some random lettuce. These look good. Look how good this stock look. This stock looks really good. Um, for tomatoes, be careful with uh, pulling some of these suckers. Some of these ain't suckers. Like this is in between, but it really is not. This has flowers. Like this is a sucker. Let's pull her. But um, you kind of want to get them suckers out between so you can get the energy to grow to the plant and not put energy in these suckers. So somebody's going to say, what's a sucker? Well, let me see if I can show you. I've been pulling them every day, so... I might not have anything to show. Look at that. That little baby right there. Girl, look at these greens. I'm not even eating this stuff right now because I'm eating raw. But um, just know. I said after seven days, I'm going to do 80-20 where I'm eating raw 80% and then 20% is cooked food. Baby, it's about to be vegan city, plant-based city in the garden. A bunch. Look at all this green. Look at all that. Look at all that. And I've been cutting this like every day. Here's some sage just drying up. I just take the sage and burn it. Look at that. This with some watermelon and some ginger. Look at that mint. Yes, friend. Oregano, some more. This is actually garlic. Garlic is doing really good in this tower. Just so y'all know, the green stock tower is doing really good with garlic. These are the bare root strawberries that's around here. And they don't look good. They just look like nothing i don't know what's going on if they don't grow then we're just gonna drop something in there with them and maybe they'll grow later i don't know but um see like this one see right here in the middle it's a whole nother plant right here you can put this in water 
as and it'll have some roots and grow you a whole nother plant. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Look how beautiful this tomato is. Like I'm telling y'all, I am obsessed with the green stock grow tower. Like it literally went from nothing to something. You see how beautiful that is? Nothing to something. Like it's just amazing how beautiful this thing is and how much you can grow in a small space. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. So that is my compost basket in here. I've been throwing all my little scraps from my juicing. You see all these weeds in here? It's all good. Just me and my soil is alive. I'll come out here and pick it. I just picked all the weeds in the front yard. So I'm not ready to move to pick weeds right now. These are uh, radishes. I saw a recipe where somebody sliced them and put them in the air fryer and added olive oil to season and made like these chips out of them. <laughs> I'm about to do this as soon as they come through and these are the purple radishes too look at this lettuce i'm telling y'all lettuce don't look like this in the store it just don't look like this in the store look at that kale this is a good eating this is some good eating y'all this is some good eating let me pull this some of this little old stuff out the way dinosaur kale look at that beauty yes come through look at her come on friend do your job you know, we got some friends and some foes that be in the garden. We, we welcome all the friends. And this is all about. So this is natural, um, naturally organic, family owned in Tex from Texas. This is a potting soil. Now I'm going to add my own nutrients to this and dump this in here real quick. And I just want to see how it feels. And if it feels like I think, I saw somebody talking about this in the neighborhood. If it feels good, landscapers pride all right it smells like cow manure that's what it smells like just so you know it smells like you got a little uh cow manure in here then they do sell cow manure there and they do sell the ones that have like other stuff in it but i told them i had my own like worm casting veggie fertilizer stuff so i've been really tripping and i just need to fill these things up so that's one bag I, I bought four bags. I started, I started about six bags, but um, we'll see. So that's the other soil from the pink bag that's more expensive that they have at, what's that store, girl? Lowe's, that organic bag. But look at all these pieces that are in here. See, that's what kills me. And it said raised bed, something, something, whatever, right? And... I don't know that look dark and rich this is expensive and look at this stuff that's in it this not the one from costco it's the other one the pink bag y'all like um whatever i gotta still gotta fill these up oh helen you got some work to do friend now i'm not trying to fill this up to the top we already know that y'all know i'm not i'm not about that life but i still need like two more bags i do um yeah, because I'm going to put something in here and then once it grow, fill it up with um, hay anyway. But I definitely need, look, I got my basket in here. Y'all know I got my basket for my compost. Yeah, maybe three bags. I need a lot of bags. I like this soil so far. We'll see how it drains and how it goes, but uh, it looks rich. You see that? Um I'm just so happy my stuff is growing. Y'all had me like, what? I mean, I was researching and reading almost in tears. Like, Lord, please don't let me fill this thing up. And my food don't grow and everything die. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I did mix perlite in here with that. And I did, um, you know, to help with drainers. But I've been putting my compost stuff in here. But this is what it looks like. Is this ants? Oh, it's thick. It look like it's ants in here. Um, where did they go? Yeah, that's right here. I wonder what is that? Oh, well, we got cayenne pepper. We're going to put some cayenne pepper in here, which you're not going to do. Yeah, I see little ants. Oh, I see them. Look. Can y'all see that? Okay, let's go get some. We're going to put that in there. And... Is it everywhere or just over there? Yep. Okay. It's not everywhere, but it's like all right here. 
So, we're going to get something put in there. But we won't be buying that soil again. I know that much. Yeah. All right. So, this looks amazing. <laughs> if I must say so myself. Okay. So, we're going to go get some more um, stuff to put down. Keep away. I don't even think that's ants. What is that creepy crawler stuff? I don't know what that is. But we're going to figure it out before my stuff die. Because now y'all got me nervous. And then we're going to um, get some more um, soil. Um for those beds. All right, let's close the fence because if Journey come out here, she's going to run out and scare everybody in the neighborhood. All right, they don't really, um, they don't really care for me to film in here. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you what's in here though. So, if you're ever in the area, uh, in it's like Sienna, Missouri City. Um, what is this one called? This one's called My Spice Grocery. But anyway, I'll show you what's in here. So I get the spicy stuff like chili powder or this stuff be hot. So the redder it is, the hotter it is. And I put that in the garden to keep those um, bugs away. I have cumin, cloves, which is really good in tea. Girl, let me get a basket. Oh my God, I didn't come for this. Turmeric powder. I don't think I need any turmeric. I wonder if this camera's dirty. Probably is. All right. Turmeric. I like buying this stuff by the bag, y'all. Coriander, nutmeg. That's where I buy my nutmeg from. When people ask me about my nutmeg, that's where I get it from. And I just grate it. I got poppy seeds, whole black pepper. Clove is good for you, especially for like your hair or in tea, just so you know. See, look at this extra hot. Okay. Let me grab the stuff I need. This is cinnamon powder. Um, here are the sticks we put in the tea. It's $4.99 for this bag. And star anise. You know, I use this in my pho. Dry ginger, which is good too, fur and pho. They have the chili flakes, which I put around ants in the garden. I really don't need this right now, so I better not get this. I don't need it right now. I just need to get this extra hot powder and some flakes for around the, um, what do you call it? Well, I'll just use this around the ant bed. But they have the whole chilies. This is good if you want to make like a roasted salsa and make it spicy. Mm. You see all this? That's why, that's why I love this store. I'm obsessed. Somebody asked me before with me adding cayenne pepper to like the garden, do I taste like a difference in the, you know, like fruits and vegetables? And I don't think so. Um, no, I don't even know. I don't think so though. I don't think it makes a difference. I think it just does its job and then it's done. It's not like it adds season or spice to like the growth of the food. I don't think, I don't know. I haven't had the experience, but Oh, my hand hurt. Um, oh girl, we gotta get gas and we gotta get some more bags of soil. All right, hopefully that's better. All right, so, sorry. I keep forgetting I have this thing up here, but sometimes it holds the, the, cam the camera and sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, I am going to go through the box today and see what seeds we're gonna put in that um, eight by two. It's not a truffle. I get that from Christopher. Uh, garden, raised garden bed, right? I know it's gonna rain today. I don't know how hard or where, but I kind of feel like going to the garden place and picking up some transplants only because I need to call them first because I feel like the they have the best like purple hull peas and like some just different um, transplants that you don't find, right? And I feel like 
I know I'm not behind schedule, but I feel like I'm behind schedule when it comes to planting certain foods. And other people are going to be like, girl, it's not even time. Like, you do that. Like, we used to do it on Good Friday. If you remember years ago, I used to plan on Good Friday. And it would seem like summer would come so quick and all my food was just bulk quick. And we didn't really get as much as we used to get. And now I feel like I plant early. I get a huge abundance of food. But when I plant early, I find myself having a succession plant and plant often. So that as plants are growing and determined plants have, you know, produced what they can produce and they're done, then it's time to hurry up and plant more in between that time so food can continue to see the growth. So this year, I've done the whole scheduling. I'm doing carrots every two weeks. I'm dropping carrots every two, three weeks, right? I am dropping zucchini. I'm trying to make sure that every time something grows, I pick it. I'm not trying to leave it on the plant to get large. In the past, I would like lead zucchini and squash because I wanted it to be bigger plants, right? But I noticed that in doing that, my plants would die out on me sooner or attract bugs or something. But if I keep, like with the cucumbers, keep with the zucchini, those type of like vegetables, then my plants lasted longer. Like my cucumbers has never lasted long ever in life that I've been growing cucumbers until this last year. And as soon as you let one turn yellow, go to seed or whatever it is, it tells the plant, hey, I'm done growing. It's time for me to die. I've done my job. So I'm going to just start getting these zucchinis young and we're just gonna eat them small instead of me trying to get them big and juicy and big. And I used to want all these big, huge vegetables. And it, yeah. We could just get an abundance of small vegetables, and it's good. As long as I'm eating vegetables every day, anyway, I'm good. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, somebody texted me, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some soil real quick from the feed store. Get some gas, girl. I just still, still don't like pumping gas, and head back to the house. And it looks so dreary out here. And I hope you all are having an amazing day. I have another video coming soon of me prepping my fridge with a bunch of raw fruits and vegetables and just some prep ideas for eating like high raw or whatever. I just finished eating an overnight oats, which was so good. It was just oatmeal with chia seeds, some almond milk, and I had a little bit of date syrup and some almond butter in it. I sat on the counter for like two hours just to, so it wouldn't be cold. I don't like cold, cold food. I like hot food. So, so it could be like room temperature and I just demolished that thing. Man, that was good. Like everything doesn't have to be cooked. Like some foods can be really good and tasty without being cooked. So anyway. All right. I think it's about to rain. But anyway, I don't care because it's just going to go through. It ain't like it's coming out the bottom. But y'all, this right here, I really probably should have gloves on, but y'all know me. I'm going to go ahead and rake all this off the top, sprinkle this on, and then put it back on. And when I say I can smell this right here, <laughs> I can smell it. So anyway, let me just take this off right quick. Disturb all these smell bugs that's going on right here. And uh, do what it do. When I tell you I'm about to sneeze, listen, and wreak havoc on my food. That's what we're not going to do, okay? I'm going to leave this like this, and then I'll cover I got a whole bag of hay, so I ain't tripping. Um, we got some ants over here. Let me show you. I bought two of these bags because they so good and spicy. So, see this ant bed? I just put a little bit on the top and they about to die. Ooh, they are going crazy. My whole flesh is crawling. Go on, move around. Go on, move around. All right, let me make sure there's no more ants in the garden before I put this bag up. And I had to put this up, like in a Ziploc bag or in a container in the back of the pantry because child one day we had this in a uh, gut ass jar we was confused and we put this in some 
lentils baby we went to biting them lentils and all of us was like oh my god oh my god and i was like oh my goodness so anyway anyway i'm gonna put some at the end just because they try to crawl down here don't don't even try it for you don't try it all right all right, let's make sure there's no more ants. I know one of these had ants one time. So let me just take a peek in here. Make sure ain't nothing down here. I know, y'all be like, y'all just be fussing me by wearing gloves. I don't know why I like to play in dirt, but I always have, and a child probably always will. No matter how many times I get bit, it just is what it is. Oh, this smells so good. This has made me hungry. Let me look. Let me just, just in case. Just in case, friend. All right. We're good on the, on the home front over there. I think we're good over here. So anyway, <clears throat> somebody told me. Hold on. Somebody told me to, like, cut this off right here. And that it would produce more of this. Let me just cut it and see. Now they claim if I cut it, it'll produce more broccoli. It'll stop the flowering process, right? And that we would get more like of these. We'll see. Girl, that was good. Need some more. Want to have more? Go I eat these. I eat this. Tell me again why am I supposed to eat this? I eat this. Girl, it's another ladybug in the garden. Why do I love these things? Can y'all see her? Y'all see her? She just crawling, minding her business. Doing her job. Oh, there's some more over there, too. Okay. Okay, friend. Girl, why do it taste good? Animal, animal, yeah. Hmm. Animal. Mm -mm. Okay, let's get this soil put in this thing. Um, Y'all, let me tell you something. <laughs> Every time I come over here, let me show you. Every time I come over here, I swear, this is so thick. It's like, what, what's that stuff called? It's like celery. That's how thick this parsley is. Look, look how thick this is. Y'all see this stalk? It's parsley. I don't know. I'm gonna eat all this. I, I don't know what y'all be thinking. I don't throw nothing away. Girl, this thing is here. Come on, 40 pounds. Okay. One more bag. Ooh. Ooh wee. Ooh, good. I almost look like black gold. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. All right, what are we putting in here? What are we, what are we growing, friend? Come on, let's grow some food. Hey, if this grows my food good, I'm getting this from now on. I don't know why this soil just smell good and look good. Like I could tell a difference in smell in these soils. And I, I'm gonna see how compact this get. I'm gonna add some nutrients real quick and then either plant it out today or tomorrow. But I wanna go get some, some starts and then seeds, like starts and seeds. Like I did the other one, I want to mix your both. I don't want to just do all seeds in this thing. I like to, you know, I tell you, succession. I like to have stuff keep going. So what we going to do, friend? I don't know. I, bet I shouldn't put my hand in here. I really shouldn't put my hand in here. But I kind of want to see if stuff is still moving. Hold on, let me see. 
Oh, they running, baby. Run, honey, run. Oh, shoot. I forgot it's a seed back there. I got to be careful. Oh, that smell good. Smell like somebody cooking. No, I don't even see him no more. What the heck? They probably went all the way down to the bottom. Let me see what's going on in this compost. Nothing. Let's add some soil in there. Nothing. I don't even see them now. Oh, I see like one or two. They look like little ants that's carrying something. I don't know, but okay. Let's just mix it in. So we'll make sure. Let's just make sure it's all in here. Kind of mixed in good, not just sitting on top, but you know, just I ain't trying to disturb these um, roots and stuff, but. I don't see none on this side. All right. We'll keep checking every day. We'll just keep checking. And see what happens. I see this corn is too close together. I see that already. So once this corn sprouts, we'll just move this corn once it gets bigger. I do have these plants over here. That's, I don't think it's big enough to put in that uh, thing over there. Let me see. This one might take off. Hold on. This one might be big enough. I might can just pop this one in there. Pop these, like as a wholesale. But I don't really want to, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know what kind of tomato this is. I wrote them down though. It's written down on my journal, so. In order, so I would know. All right, let's go inside. I'm eating more, child. I don't know about no, nobody. Oh my God. So I bought, what, 12 yesterday? 12 this morning. That's okay. That's okay. When I say they be eating, child, my children be eating. All right, friend. We got to get this video up for y'all today, too. Because it's a beautiful day. Not really, but it's kind of ugly outside. But y'all know what I mean. I, I can't. That one needs to be uh, sharpened or something. I don't know what's going on that night. I bought it all the same knives. They're the Hinkle, 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 Hinkle whatever you call it. They're the same knives, but only dogs can have mango because that that journey eats everything. All right, so I don't know if y'all can hear that TV in the other room. It's, I have let the farm on in the background. I don't know if y'all can hear him. Um... I don't think you can, but anyway, I'm about to take these peels real quick, and then we're going to see what we're going to do. So I got my mangoes and this girl. My thumb is aching. I just put some um, medicinal honey on here and kind of like, I don't know, it hurt. But I am going to, of course, take my gut health um, probiotics. has prebiotics in it too, I believe. My sea moss, and this is empty. The black seed oil. Let me see if I have another one. Oh, please. Ugh. All right, so I had another one. Try to keep these on stock. I actually just ordered some more sea moss, too, so it should be in the mail. But anyway, and I'm going to have a little bit of some almond butter, one of those clearance fines. Or I'm telling you, <laughs> this stuff right here is so good. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I like it with my uh, no, oranges. But anyway, what are we growing? Thank you. Some more sea moss. Right on time. All right. Mm, that's funny. All right, so we're going to do the melons, the um, green melon over there. I'm going to try to find at least three or four unique starts from that garden center I like to go to. And then, we don't need any more tomatoes. We got tomatoes. Let's see what they look like. These are from the what do you call those? Suckers. These are from the suckers. So, 
some of these actually have, um, let's take this off. Just put them in water. Does this have flowers on it? Some of this needs to come off though. Because I'm going to have to plant this pretty deep if I plant them. But I don't need any more tomatoes like at all. I'm not buying no tomatoes, friend. None. Because I don't, and that, this one's not going to grow. That one don't look that great. Because I have all these. This was actually a sucker. Can you believe this? And all this, you see those fine hairs? All that can be rooted. So, I'm going to put this back in some clean water. That's a good one, too. And then these will eventually be planted in the garden like I did last year. That's why I end up with so many. I had so many tomatoes because I would just, every time we would get like really good, nice, thick suckers, I would just plant them. So, I need to grab just probably a few more and that's it. You know, that kind of helps with like succession planting, too. Having some. Look at my little teacup. Ain't it cute? <laughs> Um, to keep growing, I just need to put some water in here. I need to put this in a bigger glass. We'll do that. Okay, we'll do that. Anyway, so we're going to do the melon. Like we said, we're going to do, we're going to grow melon. We're going to grow a few tomatoes, at least three or four plants of something unique. And then we need to come up with like six more things because that's eight by two. So eight by two gives us 16 plants we can grow, a decent sized plants if we're growing square foot garden. If we're putting flowers around, a little small, like, I don't know, what you call those? Like radish, even carrots can grow in between like plants. You know what I'm saying? So someone asked where we get these from. I know you've seen uh, many of us with these. I have two of these. This is the one with the seeds I order online, right? the heirloom seed company and then the other one's like more of like seeds from like dollar tree dollar general walmart Lowe's kind of thing so we're definitely going to put flowers because we put flowers in everything that we grow and we will do um like an aster mix if there's some in here if this is what it says aster we'll do that around the oh they have some more moon flowers i didn't know i had two packs of moon flowers so we'll do the aster mix, which is pretty pretty like a colorful like mix. I probably won't do any herbs because between inside and those towers, I don't need no herbs. But I, I probably need some to deter bugs, right? So we have to put something. If we're doing tomatoes, we'll do some basil. And this is the I think it's Genevieve basil. We'll go ahead and put that in and then we'll add no sorrel because it's gonna be too hot that air is too hot over there that's full complete full sun i don't want that that's gonna take too long all right so then we have carrots of course and so we'll use these carrots oh i've got some mixed in here i think this was supposed to go into my gardening book you know like the staple when i'm growing so i think that's why i put that in there so let's go ahead and grow some carrots we have some i don't know what this is but it's 70 some days Red carrots, rainbow carrot. Let's do rainbow carrot because it says 60 days. We'll do some rainbow carrots and then we'll do once we plant everything, I'm just gonna leave it alone. They have some brilliant carrots. Who is they? They is me. Okay. <laughs> I hate when people say they, they. It's me. It's me. I have little fingers. This is probably empty because I have dropped all the little fingers I think I have. This is probably empty. Let me put that in my gardening um, journal. Borage. I have this actually growing in my tower over here. They're so pretty. And it, it's a really nice, beautiful flower. But it's also medicinal, beneficial for you if you put it in a tea. Okay. So this is Florence onion, the red long Florence onion. We'll put that in there. I don't even know when we're supposed to put it in there. But we're going to put this in there. And this is a giant leaf. No, it takes like 150 days. That's like half a year. Child. We're not doing that. A little bit less than half a year. We're not doing that. Look at the other box. This one don't have nothing in it. Where's all the seeds? Hold on, y'all. I think I'm going to go online and order some from... Is it M.I. Gardener or My Gardener? I bet it's M.I. I keep saying My Gardener, but I bet it's M.I. Gardener. I'm going to go in there and order some rare seeds. Because I still have those pots and I still have those grow bags. And then as I pull stuff out, like when those greens come out, because I don't think I'm going to cut them back to keep growing them. 
Well, I, I will shade my garden when it gets hot. Y'all know I shade my garden. Mm, what carrots do we have? Colorful carrots. Too. Ton of carrots. Girl, I juice carrots like almost every other day. It's the easiest thing to juice. So, I feel like we need, I feel like we need more flowers. And I feel like we need more squash, zucchini, like that kind of stuff. Okay, so bok choy. I don't have any bok choy going and the reason why is because see this is january through april it's because bok choy bolts on us so fast so i'm gonna drop bok choy which is like the kids favorite like green they eat this and everything they stir fry this thing they throw this stuff in, in the air fryer and eat it like i eat kale chips i don't even know where it got there from but i had never done it before when i saw them do it i was like what are you doing i was like oh okay so we don't need shark because this the season's gonna go by so fast. And I said flowers, right? Because we have to do some kind of pollinating. Look how pretty these morning glories are. Maybe we'll have some spilling over and vining across the thing. And maybe we'll do these teddy bear sunflowers, which is one of my favorites. And we'll do that around the border or something. No zinnias. We have enough zinnias. And we'll do some sunflowers. Right? Like the large, like the red velvet ones. I don't know where they are, but I dropped okra already, so they're already sprouting. And I'm telling you, when okra grows, it grows like trees over here. So tomatoes, beans, spinach. Can't grow spinach, but we can grow some more radish. So when that radish comes up, we'll drop some more of these. So let's just drop these in there. I've never grown these. This one right here, the little longer ones. We always go to little cheapies like this, but I'm 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 gonna try those purple ones in chips, like they said, like air frying them with olive oil and stuff, lay them flat, or you can put them in the oven, kind of like that way on a um, lower setting or something. This is the sunflowers or something. Girl, what is in here? These, these were gifted to me last year. They were so pretty. So these are the ones I'm putting there. So so far. I have, I'm gonna buy three or four plants, right? I'm gonna do the melon on the side. We're gonna do a few sunflowers. Just, they just are tall, so they won't even, and the roots of these are very like shallow. They don't get really big, like the mammoth or anything, like the, like a tree, they're just really light. Mm. A few of these in a row, some sunflowers here and there. Morning glories, they're vine, and they're just like one little, and then the rest kind of like flow over the, I want it to flow over the, the bed. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. A row of uh, bok choy. And then, of course, these two rows of carrots. Carrots, bunch of onions, or the red onions, rather. And then the aster mix. This is not going to even fill up that thing. It's really not. But whatever. That's what we're doing. All right. So I'm about to eat my snack. It is already 2 o'clock. Let's see if we can get this video for y'all before like 4. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing day. Oh, we're missing peppers. We're missing peppers. We're missing peppers. All right, so the peppers I have that are seeded, I'm going to go ahead and take them out that thing and put them over there, I think. We're missing peppers. That's what it was. I wanted to put peppers over there, so maybe I won't go buy any plants. I have a bunch of these pepper seeds, but I've already had them. I just dropped those this morning when it's time. That's what I'm going to do. That's in that. Those little seed pod things. Marigold, lettuce. Everything's mixed up. This night you're supposed to be in here. These are the ones. Someone asked me where I put them. So <laughs> I have like envelopes like these that you can put seeds in and label them from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And then I have a bunch of these poly packs like this. Once they dry, you can put seeds in these. Yeah. But those teddy bear sunflowers, those teddy bear sunflowers are so freaking pretty. Yes, and the marigolds are pretty too. But anyway, we don't have no marigolds over there, right? And we need marigolds for the tomatoes. So let's put marigolds around at least one little area. My marigolds get big, so I got to be careful with them. I'm going to use the African marigolds. So I'm not going to put a lot of that, just a little bit. I'm not playing cantaloupe this year because cantaloupe took over. We're gonna we're gonna stick to it for melon, okay? Mm -hmm. Cantaloupe took over the whole wall last year. We are not doing that again this year. So I can't wait to plant these and see them start to grow. There's some seeds right here, 
and then um, come back and share it with you all. So I hope you enjoyed this video of the rambling and the randomness or whatever. And yeah, I just want to encourage someone to grow your own food. I just watched the video. Is it the uh, Mr. and Mrs. H? And basically she was saying, seeds won't save your friend. If you don't know how to plant them, you don't know how to grow food, you don't even know where to start. Just having collecting seeds is not going to save you. Like, you got to get started somewhere. Get you a green stock grow tower. Get you some grow bags, a little bit of soil. Just start somewhere. Get you a pot. Get you a jar. And throw it in a window with some herbs. Like, start somewhere. Take your scraps and turn them into food. Like, start somewhere. Start small and gradually add on. I mean, my garden's grown so much just from starting small. So... Hope you have an amazing day. Peace and blessings.